All right, what is up, everybody? Hope y'all are having a fantastic day so far. Um, I think I have my internet issues fixed. Uh, I tested it again today, like earlier, kind of around lunchtime, and it worked perfectly for like a 10, 15 minute stream. Um, and I've had it going for actually the last 10 minutes before I click go live on YouTube. So it seems to be holding up uh, pretty well. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I have all the kinks ironed out and we'll have ourselves a successful stream tonight. So um, how we're gonna get things started tonight is uh, we're gonna start by doing uh, just at least dipping our toes in New Game Plus. Uh, we'll see how far we get, but then um, the goal is to be also uh, do some multiplayer as well. Um, whether that be PvP or co-op or whatever, TBD, we'll kind of go with the flow on this one. So looking forward to it. Looking forward to actually hanging out with you guys again. Hopefully everything is going smoothly um, as far as uh, the, the, the stream is, is uh, holding up. So anyway, um, I went to the wrong one. Let's see, I need to go here because I need to, I need to trigger the ending to get to New Game Plus. So, anyways. Let's see. Stream seems nice and smooth. That is good to hear, my friend. And on, on OBS, my bit rate is holding up. So, uh, it's not fluctuating wildly like it was last time. So, that's a good sign as well. Um, fallen leaves. Okay. Cool, cool. Yes, we're going to begin Journey 2. And uh, I've been thinking a lot about PvP. Um, just in terms of, like, what the... Um, what what I might run into as far as PvP is concerned. I know I'm probably going to run into Rivers of Blood. I know I'm probably going to run into Moonvale. I'm probably going to run into people who, like, hide behind their shields. Um... And then, of course, I have my own play style that I want I want to fit into everything. So, you know, trying to think about all that, how I could counter multiple play styles, how I can how I could counter like a three v one or a two v one. So hopefully, uh, we, if we get into some PvP tonight, we'll have some fun. What's up, Lurian? Good to see you again tonight, man. Hope you are doing well. That was quick. And I do want to at least get Godric's Great Rune because um, it could help with, with just getting a little bit of a stat boost. Even though that's not going to work in PvP. But it's all good. Actually, once I get to Roundtable Hold, I am going to... Um, Actually, I might already have the Taunter's Tongue. If I have the Taunter's Tongue already, I'm going to uh, to go ahead and activate it so I can get invasions. Um, let's see. Do I have the Taunter's Tongue? I think it's just on here. Or maybe... Do, am, I playing, am I playing offline? I might be playing offline. First try. What's up, T-Mac? Yeah. Um, caveat. This is New Game Plus. So I've got all my gear. Uh, I'm not at, you know, base level gear. It is way easier to kill the Crafted Scion in, in New Game Plus. I might be offline. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I gotta turn this to online. And reboot the game. Cool. So that way, I, 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 want, I want to... Uh, uh, I, I, if I have the Taunter's Tongue in my inventory, I want to go ahead and use it so I can get invaded whenever. Um, and then... Um, we'll be doing some invasions and probably some duels and stuff later, too. Failed to acquire parental control information. Okay. Hold up, guys. Am I not logged in? Uh. 
That's weird. Hold on a sec. I'm going to shut off um, my screen so like my network stuff isn't like on the screen. I'm going to turn that off real quick, but I'm, I'm still going to be here. Give me just a sec. Okay. I'm going to see why my uh, PS5 isn't connected. Um, okay, so my PS5 is not connecting. That is bizarre. So I got my, uh, I got the stream fixed, but my PS5 is still, <laughs> I don't know what the heck is going on. I'm so confused right now. Okay, well, uh, if this doesn't fix itself in a, in a couple minutes, then I'm just going to say screw it and we'll carry on single player. You can just go through New Game Plus. I might need to reboot the PS5. I'm going to try that real quick. Please hold. I'm still here, though. Okay. a YouTuber in your country that does music, games, pixel art, and streams and posts 30 minute 30 minute videos every two weeks. Interesting. What 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 uh if you don't mind me asking, what country uh are you from? I'm not that talented, unfortunately. Alright. Yeah, I'm, I'm connected. Or should be. Alright. Looks like it. Maybe not. Oh my gosh. Ah, you're from Brazil. Nice, dude. Arg, how is this happening? That's why your English kind of sucks sometimes. Dude, honestly, I never would have noticed if you had not said anything. All right, looks like my PlayStation, for whatever reason, is not connecting. I don't know why. I can't explain why. But for now, we're just going to play the game and have fun. Dude, that sucks. That sucks, but... What can you do? So I read a post that they said they solved it by disconnecting and reconnecting to the internet. You can try that. Um, does it not have the network options available? Oh, it sure does. I just, I just turned off the uh my screen on the um on the stream so y'all can't see my like network info <laughs> um yeah that's where i went and it's not connecting i don't know why obviously i have connection right now because i'm streaming right now but there's always something man i don't know what the deal is last last time uh the the, the stream sucked and now this time my ps5 is not connected to the internet i don't know maybe is there Hmm. Is there like a, a system update that I didn't perform? I don't know. What's up, LCFC? How you doing, man? Finally in the stream. Hope you're well. Thank you so much for tuning in, man. Good to see you here. I am doing well. Hope you are also, my friend. Oh, 
Let's see, I'm glad that I'm glad that New Game Plus they don't make you get Torrent again. Starting off with Torrent is is nice. I'm gonna unlock the side of Grace in here just in case I need to come back and get arrows. Screw the tree sentinel. I don't I don't I don't need to fight him. Does not deserve the time of day. Ah, oh, you're off work all week because you had the Queen's Platinum Jubilee here in the UK. I saw that on uh, the TV. That's cool. So you get the week off for that. That's awesome. So Platinum, that is that, um, if I remember right, that was 70 years, right? Brock with the $5 donation. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it, good sir. I love how those dogs, they just they just literally pop out of nowhere. It's like the Dark Souls 3 dogs. Brock, hope the hope the wife and kiddos are doing well. Seventy years. Yeah, that's that's pretty insane. She is, uh, she is getting up there. Foul tarnished. Wife and kids are doing well. Always good to hear, man. Yeah, it's, it's. It's, it's, uh, crazy, like, I've been busy, you know, doing the, doing the walkthrough over the last couple months, and, you know, it's done now, but it, it, it you know, I've, since I've been so busy working on that, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's been that long, but then I, 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 I think back and I realize, like, it's been, like, three-ish months since the last time I've, like, legitimately streamed, so. Good to hear that everyone's doing well. They're going for platinum on Dark Souls 3. What a pain it is. Oh, dude. I... I feel your pain, man. For sure. That platinum is... Is brutal. The amount of farming you have to do for that platinum is, is in my opinion, unreasonable. But, nonetheless... I did get it. Just for the sake of having it. I, I can't have I can't have platinum on every Souls game except Dark Souls 3. So, come over here, would you? As much as it sucked, I did do the the 30 to 40 hours of farming that's required for uh for that platinum, man. It was it was painful though. It does take dedication. Stream feels like a speed run. Yeah, basically what I'm trying to do is I, I I'm trying to get through New Game Plus as quickly as possible. Which means I need two great runes. So I'm going to get Godric's great rune and Renala's great rune. And then I'm going to go straight to the capital. Dang, normally I do better getting through this stuff. Um, and then go go to the capital and then basically do Mountain Top of the Giants. And that's that's more or less all that's required. And then Fair Missoula, of course. And that's pretty much all that's required for the Platinum in this game. I'm just going to go in and get this side of Grace for... Uh, convenience sake so it'll be easier to get Godric's great rune activated once I get it 97 years young wow 
That is nutso. Very few have the uh, the privilege of living that long. The crazy thing to me, though, is so if she's celebrating 70 years right now, that means that she became queen when she was 17. I can't imagine that kind of responsibility as a 17-year-old. side of grace. I don't need that side of grace. What am I doing? Maybe I do need that side of grace. I don't need it. So you need all you need all miracles and rings. Yeah, I, I don't even remember which ones you have to farm for, to which miracles you need to farm for, but man, getting those um, whatever the ones the vertebrae shackles or whatever, the ones that you have to farm the well, I, I forget which one it is. The ones that you have to farm the um, uh, silver knights outside of Anor That one that one is the worst in my opinion. Nice try. Of all that Try to get that grab old. attack in there, but uh and one day did not to let him have it. Turn together to our home bathed in rays of gold. Your controller broke so you can't play Donkey Kong Country 2 for now, but you played through about half the game. Oh dude, that sucks, man. Halfway through the game too. Like Donkey Kong Donkey Kong Country 2, that that's a game in my opinion that gets better. Like, as you go on through the game. Like, it starts off really good. It's a really strong game. But then, like, the, the deeper and deeper you get into it, the levels become more and more uh, compelling. It's a really fun game to 100% as well. Getting all the DK coins and all the Lost World uh, levels as well. Some of those Lost World levels, though, are really tough. You did you did Dark Souls 3 plat just because you love the game, the plat itself isn't fun. Yeah, exactly. That's 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 mine as well. My take as well. Like I, I did it because out of respect for the game and the series. Um But the actual process was not enjoyable at all. I have to admit. Uh where's my drop off spot? There it is. What's up, Built for Anything? Good to see you, man. Thanks for stopping by tonight. Hope you're doing well, dude. Uh, there we go. Trying to avoid gravity deaths here, if all possible. So she was queen very young. Yeah, 17 years old, man. That's like... 
I can't fathom that. That's like, uh, Queen Amidala was like that age when she was Queen of Naboo. And I remember being a kid when I saw that movie and I'm like, holy crap, like, she she's like my age and she's queen. What's up, your Cody? You're trying to help a noob that's stuck on Rykard. Any advice you could give him? Use the, uh, I always call it the Storm Ruler, even though it's not the Storm Ruler. Uh, use that and level it up. I leveled mine up to plus seven. And that helps, because you do a bit of extra damage. And, uh, also, uh... Just learn the moves and get good, as they say. Concord Concepts. Yeah, that's that's what it is. You can also use the uh, Covenant or whatever to do the blue the blue Phantom Invasions. You can. I, I got quite a few of the Concords that way. Proof of Concords kept, I think, is what they're called. And yes, if you get pulled into those blue invasions, it speeds up the process a little bit, but still it's it's a slog. Not 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 fun. Stream running incredibly well so far, good to hear. Glad that that problem's been fixed. I need to figure out why my PS5's not connecting though. What's up, Trey? Glad to Glad you're having fun doing what you love. Hope you get big as a streamer. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate those kind words. It is a lot of fun. I mean, I I, I think honestly, it it it's like, you know, getting getting big doing anything else. It takes quite a bit of luck, as well, and you know. For me, what matters is that. Uh, I, I enjoy it, so if I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't do it at all. Elden Ring was the easiest Souls plat. Agree with you 100% there. Without a doubt, is the easiest Souls plat. Before that, it was the Demon Souls remake, but uh, Elden Ring for sure is the overall easiest. Um, as long as you can beat the bosses. I, I know that um, a lot of folks have trouble beating Melania. Like, using summons, no summons, using co-op help, whatever. A lot of folks have trouble beating her. A lot of folks have trouble beating um, the uh, Electo, Black Knight Electo. I think she's the one that you have to kill to get Black Knife Tish, to get the, uh, uh, to get Tish uh, uh, as a legendary, um, as a legendary spirit summon. And uh, so those are two things you have to do to get the plat. You have to get, you have to beat Melania, and you have to, you have to beat uh, Black Knife Electo, Ringleader Electo is her name. And um, some some folks have a lot of trouble with those, but you know, as long as you can, you know, kill the bosses in the game, it's it's the easiest platinum by far. Just in terms of the fact that it doesn't it doesn't require any farming, which is such a relief. Because uh, Dark Souls 3 is the last one that I platinumed before playing Elden Ring. And, and, and it went from just an enormous, insane, unreasonable amount of, amount of farming for Dark Souls 3 to pretty much no farming for Elden Ring, which I really, really, really appreciated. Randomly found my channel, but you love it. Thank you so much, Trey. Really appreciate it. Glad to have you here, man. Let's see. So I'm going to get the glintstone key. And I'm going to make it daytime. Or morning time. The plant boss in Yoshi's Island. Yeah, is, is that the one where you have to, like, bounce the eggs off of, uh... Off of the, the water. You have to, like, skip them off the water to hit the weak spot. Did 
to take some pretty precise aiming. <laughs> Cody, you don't think getting good is an option for this guy? We'll try leveling his Storm Ruler at least. Yeah, what, what, what is the actual name of that weapon in this? It's like the ser giant, the Great Serpent Killer or something like that. I forget what it is. I always call it the Storm Ruler because to me it, it's, it's basically the Storm Ruler of this game. Which, Cody, you, also you don't know, the Storm Ruler is also a thing in Demon Souls, not just Dark Souls 3. It was first It was first, uh, uh, It was was first. first a thing in Demon Souls for one of the bosses in that game. Which, of course, you should go back and play someday. I recommend everybody do that. Or get a PS5 and play the remake. I would highly suggest that as well. Alright, dude, Lobster, if you would stop, like, the garbage, I'd appreciate it. Okay, cool. There's a co-op mode on a uh, co-op mod on PC that's taking off. Who knew people wanted to actually play together from beginning to end? Yeah, I've seen some folks playing that. I saw a stream. I caught part of it. It was um, Lobos was playing with Distortion 2, and they were doing like a randomizer version of it. Hello. Which looked pretty cool. Actually, I don't need to do that. Well, uh. It might be an easier way to get to Volcano Manor, so I might as well do it. Hello. 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 It's rather my mistress. I was a. Could I ask that thug me if you've? Oh, what a bless a thug, please. The thug, please. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I'm even gonna want to do Volcano Manor in this in this run or not. Probably not but just in case it'll this will make it easier to get there so i can just warp there instead of having to go all the way around and fight the falling star beast had a bit of trouble with the Melan uh, uh, melania then used rivers of blood to see her off yeah rivers of blood like do it. she she seems weak to bleed so any type of bleed build is gonna help pretty enormously with her What are you looking trying to start? Ah, mm, show me. Now consider I'm not in love. You're a shrew first. Mm. Oh. I'm gonna go on and get the uh, the key before I give it back to her. It's called the Serpent Hunter. Didn't know that about the Storm Ruler, but maybe someday you'll go back and play it. Absolutely should. Demon Souls is where it all began, my friend. Yeah, Lobos Jr. and Dist are so good. They're, 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 I mean, the, the randomizer they were, they were playing, some pretty crazy stuff was happening. It was it was entertaining. Like the spot on the uh, Divine Bridge where you're supposed to fight the twin fell omen people. They fought like a fire giant. <laughs> and it was... It was pretty nuts. And they, they beat it, and they didn't even die. I was like... Oh, crap. I just saw my bit rate dip. Wait, you got summoned during a Distortion 2 viewer run at the Fire Giant? It ended poorly? Yes, please send me the clip, Brock.
Yeah, I see my stream is not doing so hot now. It's starting to lag. How is it, y'all? Is it is it getting bad? It's getting laggy. Well, um, yeah, this is the same thing that was happening last time. I thought we had uh, resolved the issue, but... Yeah, my PS5 still isn't connecting, which is also weird. Uh Yeah, this is pretty infuriating, guys. Please. Oh yes, thank you, kind. Did I forget? I I see you are very to steady such. Please. Brave tarnished. Most time. Are you on the volcano? Oh. This land of the living. I'm sorry, guys. Um, it is, it does appear to still be, be lagging pretty bad.
How how bad is it lagging, y'all? Is it I mean is it relatively serviceable or is it like is it really bad? La last time it was basically unwatchable. It was so bad. There's a bit of lag, then it runs well for a bit, then a bit more lag. Start of the stream is gone, though. Can only go back two to three minutes. Okay, it's a bit better now. A little bit, but not unbearable. Okay. Well, that's good to know. I'm sorry, guys. I thought I had this worked out, but apparently not. Because I did some stuff, and then tested it out, and then my upload speed was was back to what I normally expect it to be last night. And then I tested it again this morning. And uh, it was a, it was a, you know, I, I did like a 15 minute test stream and it, um, no hiccups. But then again, when I started tonight, it didn't start, it didn't start lagging until like a half hour in. So I don't know what the deal is. I might need to get like a range extender or something like that. I don't know. Because previously I had been streaming fine without a range extender, but again, we did get a new modem, so maybe this modem doesn't have as quite as bit of a range as our old one did. Actually, I like I like fighting these things on horseback way more than I like fighting them on foot. These things, they just move around so fast, that's hard to keep up with them on foot. Ow. There we go. A little bit of stuttering now and then, okay. Yeah, we'll roll with it unless it gets too bad.
who did I find to be the toughest boss in Elden Ring? It depends. Um, if we're talking about without a summon, Melania for sure. Um, if we're talking about with, you know, and 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 that would be that. The, the, another caveat to that would be on my first playthrough as well. Melania wasn't as hard on my subsequent playthroughs. Um, hardest boss to like recreate success consistently with a summon. Um, Little Rani, my dear daughter, weave thy mm. might into being. That is a good question. Honestly, fighting uh, uh, Radagon and then Elden Beast back to back, even with a summon, is is pretty tough to do. Just because Elden Beast is so unpredictable, and you have to get to him with enough resources left to finish the fight, which is, which can be tough in of itself because Radagon is is no pushover either. Where did he flee, my sweetings? So yeah, Radagon Elven Beast combos up there. Um Malaketh is up there. So on a given day, I mean any boss can give you trouble. And and it'll be a different boss on a different day. So I I, I would say, depending on the day, it could be either Melania. Malaketh or or Radagon slash Elden Beast. Honestly, so some of the mini bosses are harder than than some of the actual bosses, like um, some of those knights cavalries can be trouble. Some of the death birds can be trouble. Honestly, some some of the death birds are 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 could be harder than and you know than Melania even like if depending on uh, how you're playing. Because like Melania, I feel like I've got her down now. I mean, it it took me forever to learn how to fight her. But now that I now that I know the fight pretty well, Melania is not too too bad for me. Um, but those death birds, man, they they can be they can be tough. Some of the dragons can be tough. Um, especially the uh, the one on the frozen lake. That dragon gives me trouble for some reason. Some would say the godskin duo is the hardest fight in the game, and to, you know. If, if, if you're against using sleep for whatever reason, that, that's definitely a valid opinion. Um, yeah, a lot of people have trouble with the Godskin duo. Follow-up question, which is my favorite boss in Elden Ring? Oh, man, there's so many good fights. Um... I'm going to think on that one for a sec. Yeah, I'm, I'm debating on if doing this is is faster than getting the two halves of the of the grand lift medallion. I think this is this would be a little bit quicker, but I I like the Godfrey Horaloo fight. If if I had to pick one point blank right now, that's 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 what comes to my gut. I just think that fight's really cool, especially the the Horaloo phase of the fight.
Your advice worked. The newbie did it. All hail dad bod. Congratulations. So that's that's what his uh, fourth fourth great rune to have now. Congratulations. You're well on your way. To uh, to Elden Lordship. Horalu can be tricky. Yeah, for sure. I, I definitely struggled with Horalu on my first playthrough. That's a tough fight to learn, especially without a summon because he's so aggressive. He is really aggressive and doesn't let up. Like, even if you try to get space, like, he doesn't let you heal. And that makes him really tricky to fight. Yeah, you agree with the Deathbirds? Especially that last one in the Consecrated Snowfield. That last one is really tough. What's up, Brock? You're back. Sorry, I had to upload the clip. Took longer than you thought it would. No worries, man. I look forward to watching it. Yeah, with the death birds, I, I I feel like especially the tougher ones, you got to give them a taste of their own medicine because they are super aggressive. And honestly, the 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 way that I find is best to beat them is just to stay on them like glue and not let up. And then obviously using a, an enchanted holy weapon helps out a lot too. Uh, blessed. Blessed Blade was it, is it what is I, I forget what the Ash of War is called, Holy Blade something like that, whatever it is, works wonders on the on the on the uh, on the Death Birds. Dad, gum it. Imagine my first death in this playthrough being to bats. Wouldn't that be something? Oh my gosh. It's actually... Oh no. I was joking when I said that, by the way. There we go. That was almost really bad. Yeah, that one in the in the snowfields has a pretty pretty insane amount of HP. And I want to say his move set is is expanded, but I might be making that up. There's actually a, a Latin translation of this song that they're singing, and it's like, I forget what the words are, but it's really sad. These seeds can be tricky too, because they leave the, the lava behind them. 
And that stuff drains your health like crazy. Oh, come on, he's got iframes when he's getting back up? That's not cool. Ah, oh, you gotta go, it's nearly 5 a.m., but it's been great to be in a live stream. All the best, sir, take care, see you again soon. Thank you so much, man. Thanks for stopping by, get yourself some sleep. Glad you, gl I'm glad you're able to stop by too, man. It's been it's been a long time coming. Have a good night, dude. All right, so now um, gonna go straight to the capital, rush through it, and kill uh, kill more got. This is a long elevator. I'm so glad that it doesn't make you go back and get the map fragments again. That is wonderful. I do appreciate that. Um, so first I'm going to go up, get up here, and then I want to go... Well, then you can get over here. Yeah, I don't want to go there. I want to go like here. I'm not going to fight the dragon. Yes, sir. This is New Game Plus. Which is why I'm pretty much steamrolling everything. You know, back in, like, Dark Souls 1, New Game Plus was legitimately harder than base New Game. I've been, I need you. I hereby and take my hand. Uh, I need to unlock the side of Grace here first. Um, yeah, in, in Dark Souls 1, New Game Plus was legitimately harder than base New Game, especially when you got towards, like, the end game bosses. Manus in New Game Plus, Calamite in New Game Plus, both really, really tough. I've been, I knew you, I hereby take my hand. Give me your, I will pray. Yeah, Demon Souls, New Game Plus, really tough. What's up, Robert? Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well tonight. Thanks for stopping by. And if my memory serves for Demon Souls, you got to get to New Game Plus Plus to Platinum. Because you got to get all the miracles and you need multiple boss souls to do that. Let's see, you got to make kind of a sketchy jump to get over here. Not that, not that tough, but you got to like jump on this wall. There you go. Flame Lurker crushes you. Flame Lurker gets way harder, New Game Plus. Um, Man Eaters gave me the most trouble in New Game Plus. Man Eaters ate my lunch in New Game Plus, dude. It was really bad. Especially because I, I was, uh, I was, I, for, for Demon Souls Remake, I streamed my New Game Plus. I died to the man eaters so many freaking times it was embarrassing.
And then uh, some, someone may be aware that if you use Firestorm on the man eaters, that it works really well. And then I started doing that, and that, that did that did help enormously. And so much so that it made fighting him on New Game Plus Plus not all that bad. But yeah, Flame, Flame Lurker is really tough. He's he's the closest thing to like a a what it would now be a typical Dark Souls boss and Demon Souls. Firestorm, yeah, that move's so awesome with that boss. Uh, yes, it was Cronus who who suggested that. That is correct. He knows everything. No, this is just uh, this is new game plus. So this is directly after beating base new game. I think I'm going the right way. The most fun that I have to Firestorm in Demon Souls, though, is in PvP. Because if you can space yourself properly and time it right, you can... Even if, even if you're getting ganged up on 2v1, 3v1, if you can get a good Firestorm off, you can, you can still win. And if I don't get to PvP in this stream because my uh, PlayStation, for whatever reason, is not connecting to the internet, um, I will um, have to set up a separate Elden Ring PvP stream and, and see if I get my network issues figured out that I've, that I've been having. I, I thought I had them figured out, but does not appear to be the case, unfortunately. But while not ideal, this stream at least seems to be going better than the last one. So, at least we're making progress, if still not uh, perfect. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm just trying to get a Sight of Grace nearby this Tree Sentinel, because this Tree Sentinel can be pretty lethal. And I, wanna, I want a good respawn point, since I'm pretty much just running through everything. So this Catacombs is about as good as a respawn point that you'll get because i don't think there's a stake of america near um near this tree sentinel there might be but i'm not sure and also it's nighttime so i want to it's just harder to see at nighttime so i'm going to advance the time All right, we'll pass the time until morning. All right, this boss could be problematic. We'll see. Don't look. You don't see me. Nope, you don't see me. Turn around.
Should I carry in retaliation? We'll see. We'll see how well it does in New Game Plus. Ah, uh, that's decent. That's decent. I'll take it. Come on. Got hit by that one. I suck at dodging that attack. I got it there, though. There we go. Got it there, too. Three for three so far on that attack. Normally I'm not so lucky. Ah, oh, that one got me, dang it. All right, this could be bad. I'm gonna go ahead and blue flask. Up, uh, I'm losing it. Ah, dang it. Oh, no. And this should be it. There we go. Got him. I don't. Other than the first attack, where I use my, uh, where I use Bloodhound's finesse, I don't think I hit him a single time without doing Carrion's retaliation. That was that was actually that was really nice. Indeed, Brock. Carrion Carrion retaliation is uh, is quite nice. Wait, why is it not? I have two great runes. Yeah, it should let me uh, through here. You hate this boss so much. I, 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 uh, I definitely understand that. Cannot proceed without more great runes. Maybe it's because I didn't talk to her. I thought the criteria was two great runes. Because usually this is the third one that I get. Um, let me go back to her. Where did he flee, my... <sighs> is it thy... To become... I would birth. Okay, so I've activated. I've got two great runes. Yeah. Maybe go to round table hold. I think I have to go to round table hold first, and the two fingers have to move or whatever. I I don't even have round table hold active. Have I not been to enough sites of grace to activate round? I, I I can't. Oh, you can't warp, man. So round table hold is not. Hmm. Okay, strange. 
Yeah, it's probably because I haven't been to Roundtable Hold yet. Come on, Melina. Why won't you take me to Roundtable Hold? All right, I've got one more thing I can try. Yeah, I'm resting. I, I am outside of Limgrave. No, it's not. I, I just, there's probably some weird criteria that I haven't fulfilled. I think maybe you need to rest at at least 10 or something like that. I, th I think it's, you have to rest at at least 10. And um, you need to go to gate front. Where is gate front? My memory is failing me. And limb grave. Ah, okay. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? They serve, but you, I can play turning to aid you. You need O to the foot. Then it set summon ah torrent to treat him with Hey, what's up on development? Hope you're doing well today. First time she offered to take Forgive you, you rested after dying to Margaret a bunch. I've been testing you to see whether or not and It's funny because because Margaret the first time through was a really hard boss for me. I mean, Margaret took me a couple hours to finally beat my first playthrough. Now he is just a complete pushover. But yeah, I got I got really frustrated against Margaret on my first playthrough. By only fine you have now to become the thing as much become. Okay, there we go. I think I think that's what I had to do. Now this should be open. There we go. This, this dungeon still blows me away. The capital might still yet be, like, the most breathtaking area of this game. I remember it, like, blew me away the first time I got here. And still, this is still one of my favorite areas of the game. Yeah, Derek. I don't know what's going on with my uh, well, with my PlayStation. I don't know why it's not connecting. I, I tried restarting it, and um, that didn't even help. Which really sucks because I, I I wanted to do multiplayer on this stream. This is the the first that I've had trouble with my PlayStation connecting to the network, so I don't I don't know if I uh, missed an update that I need to install or or what.
utmost thank for bringing me here, and thus I shall depart. Farewell. I shall leave. I wish you. You have. I have no. Okay, I'll, I'll try again after I kill Morgoth. See if a good old restart will help. Yeah, I've been having issues with my internet in general for the last probably three weeks and then we had a technician come out and he gave us a new modem and this new modem fixed some of the problems but I feel like it caused other problems and in general I'm just really unhappy and I'm just I'm mad that my neighborhood doesn't get AT&T fiber oh well I'll have to work through this somehow I tried to jump from the rounded window, but it's an easy jump from the roof normally. Oh well. I got there eventually. Yeah, I'll, f I'll fight Godfrey and Morgoth, and then um, I'll try restarting. Hello. I do like this music. Uh oh, could this be my first death? Justice shall prevail. Okay. There are some jumps that you don't look like you can make it, but then as soon as you just try it, it's like, that was nothing. What was it? Dude, I agree, dude. There, there are several jumps I can think of that looked unmakeable to start and are, are totally makeable. Um... But then there's some jumps I feel like you should be able to make that you can't. Or there, there, at least there's some, like, spots where you can drop, where it looks like you should be able to drop down, but then it's a death. Like, it, I, I feel like the game is, is very inconsistent in that regard. Your modem with the Xfinity was bad too, but you plugged a Netgear router into it with Ethernet and just connected to the router rather than the modem it came with and it solved all of your issues. It was a gaming router from Costco. Hey, Costco. We we shop at Costco. Actually went there today. So were you having, like, what, what was your issue that you were having? Was it just speed that was not uh, in line with what you were paying for? Or, uh, or range, or some combination of both, or other things. The Wi-Fi that comes with the stock router was crap. So normally, I agree with that. Because we actually had our own router that we used to use 
and then we upgraded to gigabit and and the main thing i needed with the gigabit was um was the unlimited data and so they said that the only way that they that like because there there is a special and um the only like there's a special where if you sign up for gigabit internet like in a certain time window that they would give you unlimited data along with it but in order to do that you had to order like their their router and stuff and so i tried using it with my own router and it wouldn't work and so when i called and whatnot they said okay you have to use the router that we sent you to get the unlimited data so i said okay and this was months and months and months ago i did this and so i plugged it in expecting the router to suck but it actually reached my entire house perfectly fine like i got great speed any room in the house General that i was in ever and then that was with the router that they sent me originally you know several months ago and then um Luna a couple weeks ago that router started acting up and um you know i i i, I it was it was really sketchy and so i called in you know had problems whatever they sent a they sent a technician out and then they gave us this new router and um I have not been having much luck with it, so I really don't know what the deal is. Pillagers emboldened by the flame of ambition. Well, so the 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 modem and router. I mean, I, I'm using the words interchangeably. I probably shouldn't. I mean, it's it's the modem that also is you know broadcasts the Wi-Fi signal. So I did not have a separate router and a separate modem. It was all one unit that they sent. And, um, and that's what I had been using for months and months and months. And it's been working great until like a few weeks ago. And then they gave me a new one. Those swords come down for you. I deserve that. I was being a greedy SOB there. So I've, I've heard a lot of people have trouble with this boss. Like, oh my gosh, I fought him 20 times, 30 times, 50 times. I can't beat him. I have never lost to Morgoth. I've never, I've never lost to him. I, I, it's he's just one of those bosses that like some people struggle with him. I don't struggle with him. But then there's other bosses that some people don't struggle with, and I, I struggle with for some reason. Again, allow me. You are unable to prevent it. The thorns are husk. The only way and become my purpose. So I'd like you to the flame then and guide you. I wish to the flame then and guide you. I wish to the flame of then and guide you. Alrighty. Um, I guess this will be the closest one. Not gonna fight the tree spirit. By the time you got here, you had figured out your spells. So, what what type of build did you use on development? Like, what are some of your uh, go-to spells for this game?
I have a feeling Fire Giant might give me trouble. I've yet to die. Incantations and madness. You were still made of paper and any boss could two shot you. Yeah, that that that's one thing that's pretty critical about this game is making sure that your vigor's in check. Because especially the later game enemies and bosses, they do so much damage to you. That's right, there's not a side of grace here. Wait, this is the wrong this is the, the to the divine tower. I don't really I'm not gonna level up. More God's rune. I need to go the other way. What am I... I need to look at the map here. Okay, so yeah, I have to... Yeah, I had to cross that bridge. I was... I was confused there. Had a little bit of a brain fart there. I was thinking that was the pathway to the Divine Tower, but... It was not. Internet's really good. That's nice. I, I I had really good internet until it started screwing up a couple weeks ago. I mean, I, I hadn't had any problems streaming in the longest time until like last week. Rot Breath, Black Flame, Blood Flies, and the Magic Great Bow spell, and Comet Shard. Okay, interesting. Yeah, Swarm of Flies is really good. I did did it get screwed up in a patch or something? And they yeah, the black flame fireball. That's a that's a real good spell too. I th wait, there's an, there's another one that I know people like to use a lot. I think it's um I got turned around, didn't I? Yep. I think it's um, Rock Sling, I think people like to use. I think it's a gravity-based spell. And then the, there's a couple really good lightning ones. Okay, I keep on like getting to this thing, and then I turn around and then lose my way. 
There's so many of those. Ah, it happened. What the heck? There's so many of the um, militia men around here that it's you can't use your map. Here we go. I think this is the right way. I might use a summon for this fight just because this this gargoyle guy could be in trouble. back. I think he's harder with the twin blade than he is with the axe. I'm guessing these things don't bleed either. Grr, almost got him. There we go. That went too bad. Had a rotation of spells. You couldn't remember their names. Well, honestly, well, for one, um, I'm still not connected to the network. For two, I actually have a, a solid deathless run going on here. I, I, I want to see if I can pull this off solo deathless. I haven't summoned anything yet either. But yeah, I, 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 I don't... I have no idea why, but... Yeah, I this it won't connect. I don't It is very bizarre. All right, Supreme so is going to go to go straight to fire giant which I got to get through this part first and I go all the way actually I could take the bridge over here so yeah
Yeah, it's actually... A, I, I, it's, it's quite surprising I haven't died yet. If nothing else, even just to gravity. These guys. It's basically like mini bosses that are placed as regular enemies in this area. Now this, this bridge, I actually do have a very solid chance of dying because this bridge can be a significant problem. I'm going to do it without fighting this guy, which might be a mistake. No, he's not really chasing me. I think, I, think, I'm, think I'm good. Now my main concern is giant arrow golem bro over here. There's a couple spots to hide, but I don't remember them off the top of my head. You could very easily blast me. Here we go. It didn't kill me. We're alive. Awesome. I'm going to take him out. Actually, there's a side of grace like right here. I think I can reset him and not have to worry about him. If I can find it. Now we're good. Where's that side of grace? There it is. It's a glitch. You got to restart your PlayStation to, for it to go online or go to a different profile and back. So did you have the same thing happen to you today? No death run would be sweet. You sense Chad energy here. Giga Chad energy. All right, so uh, I want to go up here. I don't want to fight the dragon in the frozen lake, so I'm going to... Ooh, that's risky, though. Taking this invisible bridge. That is super risky. All right, you out of here, Pepe Gamer. Have a good one, dude. For those of y'all watching the stream, though, I, it, it, is it super laggy? I, I can see it drop. It's not dr dropping nearly as bad as it was last time, but I can see that it's still not. It's still far from ideal, unfortunately. Yeah, but I have a feeling I, I don't want to fight the ice dragon. And I have a feeling if I, if I try to run away from him, I'm probably going to die. I could set a waypoint and just, like, hug the side here. It's not too bad. Okay, that's good. I'm going to go the invisible bridge. Ooh. No, I'm not going to do the invisible bridge. That's way too risky. I, I... Under normal circumstances, I try the invisible bridge. Um... But I got too much going for me here. I th I think I can I can more reliably get around the dragon than the invisible bridge, especially since I have waypoints set now. Oh crap! He's like right in front of me. Are you serious? This could be a decision that I regret. I've never tr I've never tried going this way without killing the dragon first. So I don't even know if it's possible. 
I assume it is. There's the lobster. Oh, jeez. Now if the lobster kills me. Okay, sweet. That wasn't too bad. Okay, so the snowstorm goes away. Yes, confirmed. Not going to fight the dog. Yeah, that was definitely the safer way to go as opposed to the uh, invisible bridge, which I almost very stupidly did. I mean, I, I it's been a while since I've fallen off that bridge. I can pretty reliably get across it, but I would have been so nervous that I probably would have made a mistake and goofed up somehow. Fire Giant, though. Fire Giant could very easily kill me. Fire Giant's tough in base new game. Much less New Game Plus. I'm like halfway scared to fall off this chain. Brock with the 99 cent popcorn donation. Thank you so much. Well, I hope hopefully I can deliver the goods. We'll see. All right, so I want to go like this way. Where's my other beacon? I want to get the, I want to get that off. There it is. And eh, eh, there we go. Let's go this way and then this way. Then you got to go like here, then up here. I ain't fighting the River of Blood Invader. Heck no. That might be the hardest boss of the game. Going back to that earlier question. The ri that River of Blood Invader, dude. I have, a, I have a really hard time with him. Even though he's not technically a boss. You could call him a mini boss. This area is pretty sketchy, too. Oh, the giant hand. That thing still freaks me out. Uh, let's see. Pass time till morning, just so I can see better. Okay, so I want to go directly to beacon number four, then hook around and get to beacon number five. Still suck at navigating this place. Alright, not fighting River of Blood, dude. And my chain should be over here somewhere. Cross. No. Where is it? it? Should be like right ahead of me. Here it is. Yeah, I was looking right at it. You missed them the first time. Had to wait for update to let face go to the after the giant was dead. Ah, yeah. So use the blasphemous blade. Blasphemous blade still very good. I used I used the blasphemous blade for a solid chunk of the walkthrough. I am a fan of the Blasphemous Blade, I gotta say. Alright, here we go. This could be very easily be my first death. Fire Giant's very unpredictable. That first attack, I haven't found a reliable way to get around it.
I'm surprised he hasn't transformed yet. There he goes. Uh oh. Basically, this game's version of Firestorm. Ow! Whoa, one of those things took half my health. Oh, those things can blow up and really hurt. Need that thing to blow up, but not be near it. There we go. Second one's still there. Ooh, get out of there. Oh snap, oh snap, oh snap, oh snap, oh snap, oh snap. Oh jeez, that was almost really bad. Oh! Come on. Yes, I want to summon my steed. I've never not wanted to summon him. a close call though. That was a really close call. Huh. Didn't know this area was a boss. You walked in, saw Alexander summon sign, summoned him, and you started running up the hill and the health bar appeared. Uh, yeah, still no death, man. Still still a deathless run. Still got to get all the way through Fair Missoula. Got to beat the Godskin duo. I will be using Sleep Pots on the Godskin duo. No shame in that. Got to beat the uh, the other Draconic, whatever, Tree Sentinel thing. Um, that guy can be a problem. And then, of course, Radagon and Elden Beast, which... I mean, I'm going so far, no summon. Um, I don't see myself beating Radagon and Elden Beast, no summon first try. I just don't see it happening. I could do it with practice. But it's been a long time since I fought Radagon solo. Long observed the land, this world, and death. Are you to commit? Very well, let my hand. And then, of course, still got Godfrey and Horaloo. Can't sleep on them. I, I, I'm probably going to have to start summoning. If I'm going to pull this off, I'm going to have to start summoning. Which may or may not be a disappointment to some of y'all. 
holy damage mitigation. Yeah, that's that's why in the walkthrough I equipped the um, whatever the talisman is. Yeah, I still have it equipped now. <laughs> the Halic Drake Talisman plus two. Honestly, guys, prediction for first death in this run is gonna be is gonna be a a, a fall to my death in Fair Missoula. Because I don't watch my steps somewhere and something stupid happens. So, so chat, I've got to ask, would you, would you feel shortchanged if, if I summoned for a couple of the, of the last, of the, of the late game bosses? And, and I'm not talking about summoning an NPC, I'm talking summoning, like, a, uh, a Spirit Ash. Like, summoning Mimic or Black Knife Tish or something. I can't, I don't, is this Dragon Fight mandatory? I don't think so. Majula. You know, I do I do like the music here. It it, it much like I like the music in, in, in Majula and Dark Souls 2, and it, it's it's nice and soothing. I feel the same way about the music here. men are giving me the business. So y'all would not feel shortchanged if I use summons. Because I, I feel like I, I, I might try to get... I, I, I'll probably use one on Godskin Duo. I'll probably use one on Malaketh. And I will definitely use one for for Godfrey Horolu, And I will definitely use one for Radagon, Elden Beast. Summon other players is just fun. No summons, no spells, no items, no weapons, no goat. Get a rebirth. Higher vigor is easy mode. No need for vigor. You're at level 480. Don't need, don't need to be loved to for fun. Super hard to find people since it's 20 below or 20 above your rank. Yeah, 480. Not many people there. That that's the thing. That's that's you know why people say, the ideal for. Multiplayer purposes, it's probably closer to 150. And and I, I, I can agree with that. Just because, yeah, once, once you get up to those higher levels, the problem is is that you, you know, it's, it's, it's nearly impossible to find other people that are at that high of a level to connect with. All right, slow and steady. Easy does it. Actually, well, I got to run away from these guys. Oh, geez. This could be it, lads. This could be it. All right, I'm still alive. Oh, there's all of the, um, what you call it? Um, the, I, I, I keep wanting to say misbegotten knights. No, not misbegotten knights. Uh, banished knights in this area. Which Blasphemous Blade actually does work very well against. Um, you're level 700 using the... L yeah, I've seen people that are like... That, that have insane numbers of runes and they, they'll drop them for you. Crucible Knights are the toughest... 
I, I actually do pretty well against Crucible Knights. Um, I, I'm, I'm pretty good at parrying them, though. It took a long time to learn how to parry them. But uh, once I got good at parrying them, they ceased to become much of an issue for me. All right. Blasphemous Blade works very well on the Banished Knights. Whoops. Well, I say that, and then I screw up. There we go. Should have knocked him on his butt, though. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. All right. I am going to use Sleep Pots for Godskin. Is there one that's patrolling over here? I could just drop down. All right. Yeah, 13 levels until you're at max, right? 713 is the max. Yeah, I've got the enhanced skill medallion on as well. Okay, so I'm going to summon Mimic here. And I've got Sleep Pots on, so what could possibly go wrong, right? I'm going to put Bloodhounds back on, because Mimic can't use this weapon, because he doesn't have a Rune Arc equipped. All right. Here we go. I do enjoy me this music. I like how they I, I like I like how they try to to use black flame. Filthy input readers. Oh, they're not falling asleep as easy. There we go. I love how the Mimic uses the Sleep Pots too. That's just beautiful. Hey, attacking him while he's dying still depletes the HP of the boss. I did not know that. All right, come on. All right, bye-bye. Ah, uh, you're playing uh, the new uh, Horizon Forbidden West. Okay, that's next on my list. Actually, is Horizon Forbidden West. I'm gonna um, stream that one as well. All right. Well, that was my first summon. And I gotta go. Was it this way? I'll take, there's a Crucible Knight coming up, I think, right? No, not, not quite. I was going to try to do this no summons, but as soon as I thought about Radagon and Elden Beast, I was like, even if I make it that far, there's no way I'm beating that first try without summons. And it's it's still unlikely that'll be at a first try even with summons. If, if I was still dialed in onto my Radagon uh, parry strat that I did in my first playthrough, I'd feel good about it. But it's been I, I, I haven't done the Radagon parries since the first time that I fought and killed him. In my first playthrough, so I just don't feel all that confident on being able to pull that off. All oh, these dogs aren't one-hit kills. Come on. Still alive. 
Poison darts destroy Radagon. I didn't know that. He's, he's weak to poison, huh? Up uh, here come the bots. They're going to make me put it back on subscribers only mode. Phil, what is up, dude? Thanks for dropping by, man. Hope you're doing well. Actually, this takes me to the elevator, right? Yeah, I don't want to do the elevator. I think it does, at least. Um, main progression route, I think, is through here. Yeah. Here we go. If something happens to, like, snipe me, though... While I'm platforming here, it could be bad. There we go. And this is where the Crucible Knight is. I'll fight the Crucible Knight. Through poison darts while others fought him, we won in a minute. Interesting. All right, let's go. Oh, man, that's doing like no damage to him. Keep getting hit by. He's punishing me for healing. Oh, I was gonna. Try, I was trying to get him without him transforming. Blasphemous Blade cheeses them. Are you talking about Crucible Knights or are you talking about Radagon? Tadpod's Crucible Knight skills are freaking insane. Brock, I'm pretty sure you were around when I died to that thing for like three hours straight just trying to learn how to parry him. It it was a, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into that, learning how to do that. And of course the buckler helps enormously. I guess, uh, d does Taker's Flames, does it always knock the Crucible Knight's back when you use it on him? If so, that is, that is a very... Oh, these hawks. Oh, no. Yeah, these these things have killed me before. I'm just going to run away. Then we got the, the dragon over here, too. Making life hard for me. Oh, no! It can't end this way. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. He's got, like, a sliver of HP, but I'm still nervous about fighting him. Especially with these birds. Yeah, he's got a tiny sliver of HP. 
But I still feel like I, it's, it's, I'm better off getting rid of him than not. No, no. Oh, jeez. All right, I'm running. I'm getting out of. Oh crap. No. Oh crap, I'm out. Oh my gosh. That's how it ends, ladies and gentlemen. That is how it ends. Dad gummit. Did I not rest at disgrace to get my flasks? It's not fun unless you have two bajillion souls on the line. Oh, that would be the... Mm, not even a boss, dude. That would be the thing to get me. It was a good run, guys. I should have just ran past him. I was... Uh, I don't know why I didn't have any flasks. I must not... I I think I fought the Crucible Knight, and then I didn't rest at the side of Grace to get my flasks back, and I ran out of flasks. Of course, this is all I needed to do. This is all I needed to do. I didn't need to even fight the dragon. I'm an idiot. Could be worse, like, dying to rats or dogs. Yeah, for sure. That does make me sad, though, I gotta say. I was hoping for that Deathless run. Like, seriously, I all I had to do was run away from the dragon. Like, I run away from everything else. Except for bosses. Stream is glitching. Yeah... It's been a, I've been having internet issues the last few weeks and it's been driving me nuts. It's not, it's not an issue with my computer. It's, uh, it's been driving me insane. You get a mulligan that doesn't count. I mean, I'm all about taking mulligans, but that said, this isn't a true Deathless run anymore. Sad to say. It just isn't. It's not the same. Now this Joker. I, I could do carry retaliation, but I'm not going to be able to deplete his entire HP bar using it. Some would say this is the hardest boss, one of the hardest bosses in the game, and there's a there's a valid case to be made for that. One hit does like half of my HP. Ooh, that was close. Got no problem cheesing you, boy. Lightning time.
Oh, I'm out of I'm out of FP. Oh jeez. Dang it. Oh geez, this could be dead. didn't kill me I don't know how that didn't kill me oh snap that was that was lucky Almost ended poorly, but pulled it off. Some lag here and there, nothing too bad. Stream is definitely watchable. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. This guy is optional, isn't he? Can't you just skip him? Can you skip him? Would be news to me. Can he go straight through the fog gate and not fight him? Have I used the item to counter Beastman's Black Blade? Yes, I have. I um, uh, did cover that in the walkthrough. I, I, I did it, do it in my main playthrough, and I don't plan on doing it here because I think it's actually really hard to pull off. But I did, for just for the purposes of demonstrating what the item does, I did use it in the walkthrough one time. It, it, it is quite tough to pull off, and I feel like I have a much better shot at beating him without it than with, with trying to wait for that attack and using it, but... This was, uh, I mean, it became that way, Bill. Um, it, I, I, I got to this point without dying at all, and I was like, oh, I'll shoot for a no-death run, and then I ended up dying to a freaking dragon that I could have just run away from, but oh well, it is what it is at this point. You can just uh, run straight past him and go through the fog gate. What's the item? The item, if it still lets me have it, um, is... There it is. It's the Blasphemous Claw. Deflects the power of the Black Blade. So, can deflect the power of the Black Blade. Slab a rock and grave with the traces of the Rune of Death. On the Night of the Dire Plot, Ronnie rewarded Praetor Rykard with these traces. Should the coming trespass one day transpire, they would serve as a last resort foil, allowing Riker to challenge Malekith the Black Blade, the Black Beast of Death and Death. So what this does is it allows you to parry some of, of Malekith's attacks, and it gives you like a four to five second window to just wail on him if you get the parry. So it, it, it's kind of like Margit's Shackle, 
It's very similar, actually, to Margit Shackle. Other than the fact that Margit Shackle, you can just use anywhere and it works. This one, you actually have to time it correctly and parry an attack for it to work. Yeah, there are certain attacks where Malekith does, where his sword glows red. Those are the ones that you can... Uh, th those are the ones that you can parry. The ones that his sword glows red. But you can't parry every single one of his attacks. There's there's like two or three of them that you can parry. Um, and that's it. And you get this item from... Um, so if you do Bernal's side quest at Volcano Manor, he'll invade you like over here. He invades you. Like there's that bridge that takes you to... There's a treasure chest that has a legendary talisman inside of it. He invades you on that bridge if you do that um, side quest. And when, when you kill him as part of that invasion, he gives you... When, when, well, in, in addition to dropping his legendary weapon, he also drops that Blasphemous Claw. Well, Phil, full disclosure, this, this is New Game Plus, so this is not a base New Game. Way easier to do on New Game Plus than base New Game, I gotta say. All right, get away from me, dude. He is so aggressive in his first phase. Well, even in, well, in his second phase, too. He's just an aggressive boss, period. Still haven't died to any bosses, which is still an accomplishment. Yeah, there's still that going for me. He always opens with that attack. Malekith is a really cool boss, and 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 his significance to the lore is 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 pretty uh, is pretty amazing as well. So if I had the Blasphemous Claw attacked, I would have been able to parry that attack. Oh, I barely got that heal off in time to not die. <laughs> I almost died there. Ah, snap. Yeah, the HP drain that takes place even after the attack lands is pretty uh, deadly. Oh, no. Oh jeez, that was almost bad. I'm out of I'm out of healing. It's sudden death here, folks, and I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, that that one I think I could I could have parried. I'm dead. Oh jeez. Oh, how did that happen? Oh, that was. Whew. Oh wow. That, that was a, that was a close call. By the skin of my teeth. Yeah, I definitely would not have won that fight without a summon. Watch me die to Gideon. Rock with another popcorn donation. Thank you so much, man. I hope I deliver the goods. We'll see. We still got we still got a ways to go here. 
And then after that, I, I need to see if I can get my PlayStation connection fixed where I could do co-op or do, multi do multiplayer in any form or fashion. Shut up, Gideon. What a sad state of affairs. I commend your spirit, but alas. No, you take the throne. No. What a chump. My bones are tarnished. Cannot become a lord. Not even you. A man cannot kill. All right, Phil, thanks so much for stopping by to hang out, dude. Have a good night, my friend. Zeus spent a long time on Gideon. I mean, he Zeus also didn't use summons, which I just did. But on, on my first playthrough, I also didn't use a summon. And, um... Dadgummit. A stupid bot. Uh, hide user from channels. Yes. Um. I I didn't use summons either in my first playthrough. I I I feel like he took me two or three tries. I can't remember. But I am surprised that he took Zeus a long time. I do need to rest there. It might be time for subscriber-only chat. Yeah, I mean, I, I hate doing subscriber-only chat because it just seems so pretentious. But, like, it really is the only way to reliably keep bots from posting. And and when I was doing my Elden Ring first playthrough, I knew that a lot of people would be stopping through the channel just to check it out or whatever. And I didn't want to keep people from commenting if they weren't subscribed. And, and and the bots weren't a problem, but now they're now they're becoming a problem again. <laughs> There's nothing you can do about it though. Alright, here we go. This can be a this can be a tough fight. second phase. I do want full health going in in case I miss I miss my first dodge against Toralu. Alright, here we go. And success. Alright, go after Mimic. I thought he did it a third time. That's Radagon who does it a third time. All right. Tarnished. Thy strength befits a crown. That ghost just subbed. Thank you so much for the sub, dude. Really appreciate it, man. You swear you look away for chat for two seconds and those messages pop up and I've deleted them already. 
I just happened to uh, to catch them. I was I was reading chat at that very time. Yeah, Horalu especially. I mean, he is relentless, especially if you don't have a summon to divert his aggro. Horalu is really tough without a summon. <laughs> this fight was a pain because I get it my frail frail wizard body from across the arena. I, I actually like his power bomb move that he does. I think it's quite hilarious. As devastating of an attack as it is, it does a ton of damage. And uh, if you have low vigor, it'll one shot you. All right. It's Elden Beast time. Is there something that could... I'm going to put on um, these. And he can't... Elden Beast cannot be bled. I don't think he's really weak to anything, though. Um... Temporarily boosts holy damage negation. I don't know how much that'll help. All right. Mimic has to survive with half of his health. And I have to survive with half of my flasks. And that's assuming I survive Radagon. All right. Um, Dad Gummit. Now I'm, now I'm really mad that I had that one stupid death. All right. Any other items that could help me? I mean, I probably could put like fire grease on and that might increase my damage output a little bit. I don't know. Um, I don't think any of these pots are going to really help. Perfume, spark, aromatic. Or uplifting aromatic. That's the one that I want. There we go. Have I beat, fought the secret four-headed dragon where you have to sleep in an open grave to go to him? Best dragon breath in the game. Oh, yeah. Dragon Lord uh, Placidusax. Yes, yes, I have definitely fought and killed him. Not in this playthrough, but yes, I have before. And I agree with you. He's, he's one of the best. He's, he's one of my favorite bosses in the game for sure. All right, here we go, guys. Got to summon immediately. Otherwise, it goes poorly. Ah, I got in there. Dang it. I'm trying to get a stun. There we go. Oh, oh, I thought it was too early on that dodge. I was hoping to kill him before he did this. Oh no, I might be dead here. Probably dead here. Yep. Ah, I should have healed there. Brock, you jinxed it. <sighs> was not meant to be, guys. Just was not meant to be. I was hoping to kill him before he did the triple stop. And then he hit me with all three of them. 
I, I probably could have healed between the second and third one. But, oh well. Now I'm actually kind of glad I had that other death, so this, this one doesn't feel as painful. I got him that time before he did it. Dang it. Mm. Yep. I needed to do that. Uh, I needed to do that the first time. I, I, I got him that time before he even did his triple stomp. Oh, you can't use multiple uplifting aromatics in the same fight, I guess. Oh, it's because I'm out of FP, that's why. Mimic not smart enough to jump over a circle. Oh, I hate this attack. Up, triple ring. I suck at dodging this one. There we go, got it. guys all right two deaths two deaths a new game plus and 4.6 million runes what's up King Anthony good to see you man thanks for stopping by it's been going well, man. It's been a fun evening. Had uh, got all the way through New Game Plus. Although my uh, network seems to be screwing up. Like, I can't connect on PlayStation for some reason, so I haven't been able to do any multiplayer, which is a bit of a bummer. But uh, other than that, pretty solid so far. I agree, Brock. The music is quite spectacular. I uh, I really dig the uh, both the Radagon and Elden Ring music or Elden Beast music, both both pretty solid. Um, so let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna quit the game here. Uh, so they're saying if I switch profiles and restart, that it should connect me. That it's a glitch.
Let's see what happens. Still not connected. Is he even trying to connect? Yeah. Online status didn't change. I'll try restarting again. If it doesn't work here. All right, let me restart real quick, guys. I'm going to try turning it all the way off. T-Mac, thanks for the donation, dude. Almost no death run, yes. Two very unfortunate and preventable deaths, I should say. What do I think of the Final Fantasy 16 trailer? I mean, I think it looks amazing. I, I'm I'm pumped for it. After, you know, I did like Final Fantasy 15. It was a bit of a disappointment. It was it was a slight disappointment. Like it didn't quite live up to my expectations, but I did enjoy the game. Um I have I have pretty high hopes for 16. Now granted to say I I know I know it's a bit contradictory. Um but I actually tend to enjoy I, I tend to enjoy more of like the sci-fi type Final Fantasies than the actual like the actual fantasy Final Fantasies, if that makes sense. And 16 seems to be more of like a, a more of like a, you know, fantasy kingdom type thing. Um, and so we'll see how that goes. Like Final Fantasy 12 is, is one of my least favorites. Um, Final Fantasy 9 is one of my least favorites okay hey look at look, it looks like i'm on now sweet so we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes um but I, I i do have high expectations for 16 and i mean it definitely looks like we're getting 16 before we're getting remake 7 remake part 2 which fine by me Okay, looks like I am good. Um, I am going to respec. Oh, you play with the music off. Interesting. Yeah, I, I, for me, I, I, I am in love with the music for for the Soul series. I, I, I just, for me, it's too, it's too like integral to the experience for me to turn it off. Final Fantasy Nine, one of my least favorites. You've unsubbed. I know. I have some controversial gaming opinions. Maybe I should quit while I'm ahead. What's up, Ali? Good to see you, man. You don't know what to do anymore? Elder Ring is too hard. New game plus seven. You turned the music off for all three Souls games as well. Okay, I let's see. I need to, I need to do some some soul searching here. Um Uh, so for PvP, I want to use, I want to have the ability to use, um, where is it? The Sacred Relic Sword, which I need 22 faith for that. Of course, I want to use Bloodhounds. Um, I'm going to want to use the, uh, winged scythe as well, or no, the bloodhound claws, I believe cut through shields. Yeah. And then I want to have three shields. I want one that has carry and retaliation for moon veil spam. I, of course, want the buckler for, um, 
I want the buckler for just being able to parry normally. And I want a shield that has, what is it, golden retaliation on it for being able to parry. Um, being able to parry. Uh, rivers of Blood. Bloodhound Step is disrespectful. It is evil. Um, I'm not using it for Bloodhound Step. I'm using it to get around shields. Because I believe it can't be guarded against. Um, so I'm not using it for Bloodhound Step. I would only use Bloodhound Step if my opponent is also using it. Um, but I would not use it preemptively. Sacred Relic Sword is dope. I mainly want it for the weapon art in case I find myself in a 2v1 or 3v1 type situation. Um... Art down. So, let's see. I'm going to keep my Vigor the same. I might even bump it up all the way to 60, to be to be honest. I'll keep my mind. I'm going to keep all this the same. My strength, however, I'm going to like I'm going to I'm going to keep lower. I don't need as much strength. My Dex, I might even put it I I want to try using the Hand of Melania too. And I need 22 faith is what I'm targeting. So, now that I've got 22 faith, I've got an extra four levels to work with. And I'll pop those into strength just in case there's... I don't, I don't know if there's a weapon that I want to use that has a strength threshold. And eh, I'll pop them into dex. Did I need all the Ashes of War? I actually very rarely use Ashes of War. I use them very situationally. But since my main weapon is a Bloodhound Fang and you can't use Ashes of War on it, I have not used very many Ashes of War throughout the game. Disrespectful to spam Bloodhounds, Bloodhound Step, I agree. It's pretty broken. Yeah, Bloodhound Step is very useful for traveling fast. It's It's... Better than Quick Step, I think, even, in my opinion. Um, so, Ashes of War. I want to put um, Golden Parry is what I want on this one. So, this is what I'm going to use for normal circumstances if I need it. This is what I'm going to use for Rivers of Blood. This is what I'm going to use for Moon Veil. Uh, my my bloodhound is plus ten, which I need to go back to round table and level up uh, the sacred relic sword. I need to re level up um, I need to level up the, the bloodhound claws. I, I I I'm pretty sure that those can't be blocked if I'm not mistaken. I, I might I might be mistaken, but I don't know. Um, so Bloodhound Claws, I might, I might experiment a bit with the Wing Scythe as well, because I think it cuts through shields as well. So I'm going to, I'm going to take this up too. Uh, Bloodhound Claws... I'm I'm gonna, I'm missing. I'm needing to buy some some smithing stones for that. Uh, I need to take the um, what you call it, sacred relic sword all the way up. Okay. And I am gonna need to do some more. Let's see. So I, I could uh, let's see, equip sacred relic sword. I'm still medium load. 
Am I both Bloodhound's Claws? Am I still medium load? Yes. All right, so I got my shields. I got my talismans. I don't want that talisman on. I want... So I jump attacks, specials. Um, what do I want for my fourth talisman? Stamina might be good. Yes, you do need the bell bearings to buy smithing stones. Dang it, and I'm in New Game Plus. So I don't have any of the bell bearings. Oh, I don't think I I don't think the bell bearings carry over. Um Enhances critical hits, I might could use that. Yeah, they don't carry over. Dang it. Um, Bull Goat's Talisman raises poise. That could be good. Or um, Lord of Blood's Exaltation. That could be good. Where is that? Yeah, that really sucks that bell bearings don't carry over. I'm gonna check. Lord of Bloods is bad because by the time bleed procs, they should be dead. Okay, fair enough. I'll go for the extra poise. What difference does that make? Oh, that's 48 to 64. That's a big difference. I can get sevens and eights. All right. The wing sight also cuts through shields as well, I think. Maybe not. What are the weapons that cut through shields? I think Bloodhound's Claws is one of them. Um... And I've only got those at plus two. All right, what's what's my my uh, smithing stone inventory like right now? I could easily get some smithing ones. Let's see. So I need I would need threes. I have enough of these. I have enough. I would need. Oh, those are sombers. Um, let's see. I need one, two, three, four, and I would need sevens, which I can buy sevens now. I need one, two, three, and four. Ah, oh, that sucks. All right, I'm going to look up where the freaking uh, bell bearings are. I should be able to get them pretty quick. Um, dropped by the Crystallian boss at Rhea Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. Oh, I know where that is. It's up here. It's like right. Right here, yep. Does the wing scythe cut through shields? Does anybody know? 
For some reason, I, I'm, I'm thinking that it does, but I'm just not positive. I think it does, but you're not sure. Yeah, I, I, I'm in the same boat. I think it does, but I'm not positive. Oh, gosh. Isn't there a... A... Uh, spirit spring around here? There it is. Raelic area. So this will give me the bell bearing one. And Ash of War does it? Any idea which Ash of War? I'm going to use the Taunter's Tongue while I'm in here, just to... Oh, I don't have the... Yes, I do have the Taunter's Tongue. But I can't use it. I wonder where that is. The Wing Scythe Ash of War cuts through shields. Yeah, I, I want to say there's something about the wing sight that cuts through shields. Um, jump in and view the wing blade of an armament with a light, then deliver a slashing attack on the enemy. The white wing, the white wings impede recovery actions using flasks or t flasks of tears. That's right. That's what it does. Is it? It keeps it keeps your opponent from healing. I should be able to get through this tunnel pretty quickly. Let's see. This is the one. Oh, this one. Oh, this is a this is a, a longer one. Dang it. Yeah, this has an elevator shortcut. I was hoping this would be one I'd just be able to hop in and fight the boss real quick and then leave, but sadly. Besides being the only one to like to play with the music off, you think you're the only one to play with the HUD on. So you have the HUD on, like permanently, which I don't mind that. I I I, I tend to just I tend to go with whatever the def the game default is, and in this case, the default happens to be like hybrid on off. You got a somber one. I don't need a somber one. All right. Boss time. Should be using the hammer. Oh, it's just a, it's just a single one. No. It's not like a triple. Oh. Come on, 
breaker armor. There it is. Alright, so there's the number one. So that'll give me one through threes. I also need a four, so I'm gonna need to get the number this the smithing stone number two. And the number two is sealed tunnel. Okay, yeah. Altus Plateau. Let's see. Closest I've got to that is like all the way. That's it over here. Ugh, I don't have anything close to the sealed tunnel. Except like right here, maybe. Should have incorporated these into my route to begin with, but oh well. Alright, so once I get this and I level up my weapon, then um, I'll do some PvP. So for PvP, would you guys prefer invasions or duels? Entrance to it's like over here. The tree sentinels, they're, they're not still aggro to me. Come on. Yeah, I think I gotta drop down here though. There's a horsey, horsey jump. This is a hard one to reach. It's a long jump.
is it? There it is. way. This is where I came in from, right? Yeah. And I know this is an illusory wall dungeon. Here we go. Treasure chest in here, I think, that has it. There it is, I think. All right. Can I get back up without warping out or without getting all the way through the dungeon here? Now to upgrade. Sevens, I need two of them. There we go. So we'll try this out. I'll go over to uh, this spot, which is the typical spot for dueling, and see how things go. So I should see some signs on the ground, right? This is where most people duel. Could sort ahead or toxic. What's my level? I am um, 159, which technically slightly higher than I would like to be normally, but eh, it's within range. I'm, I'm, I'm good with it. All right, so I got to use a one of these things. There we go. Fred. G beat. A quality build. Sir Chain Monkey.
Senseless man. Pepper Jack. I'll do Pepper Jack. Yes, Darth, my PSN is working currently. All right, on development, have a good night, dude. Oops, I healed. My bad. Up, oh, Moon Veil. Oh, wow, that hits pretty. Okay, GG. That was bad. I need to uh, get out of the habit of using red flasks. I should just take them off. I know it's not... I. I could go on about it. I, I know it's not proper etiquette to uh, heal during duels. I think that's a dumb rule because you're also allowed to... Um, you're allowed to use blue flasks, but not red flasks. I, I, I think that's kind of a dumb rule, but that's just me. Uh, let's see... Oh, the reason why I'm heavy load is because of my, uh, I don't have my, uh, what you call it, rune arc. Okay, so that's going to be, I'm going to fix that real quick. Let's see here. I'm by, I'm by no means an experienced pvp -er. <laughs> Geralt of D's nuts. Okay. We'll fight you. it again. up. Uh -huh. 
All right, that one went well. When you get flum some of your flasks are split in half. Yeah, I mean that, that that's the thing is that, is that using using red flasks in a duel is considered like a cardinal sin. But yet you can use blue flasks to your heart's content. That that to me is just a little bit a little bit hypocritical. Like I I think if you should if you can use blue flasks, you should be able to use red flasks. Jolly communist. It's 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 like a it just seems like an arbitrary rule to me. That I know like souls purists swear by, but the fact is is that that noobs greatly outnumber souls purists. In Elden Ring at least. Because this game has attracted so many new players. What you got, boy? Ah. He drew first blood. They say blue flasks are okay because your build and move sets depend on it. I mean, if you're spamming your spells and whatnot, then yes. But also, my build, because I'm I'm melee focused, depends on getting in and taking risk and getting close to get hits in. So you could argue that my build depends on the ability to heal. Just as much as they, they, they would say that their their build is, you know, requires uh, recovery of FP. But, you know, that's just my opinion, which really, in the grand scheme of things, doesn't matter. Magic Swordsman. I bet you that, I bet you that is, uh, that translates to Moonvale. We'll see. Might go soon. It's 1 a.m. It's, it's 1 a.m. for me, too. I'm probably going to be signing off. Not not too much uh, later myself. Right, come on, where are you, dude? Might do a couple invasions before we're done. Did it not go? Unable. Okay. I'll do a quality build. Unable? Okay.
looked like Malakath. I'm, I'm too late on my bloodhounds. Almost one shot him. Oh, he healed. He had no health though. None whatsoever. Dude had no health. Adam Sandler. Ah, that's sad. Juicy poots. We got a, a Crucible Knight cosplayer here. I guess now I should heal. Should have rested at the side of Grace. Oh well. Hey. All right. How many buffs you doing here? Ah, you've got the uh, Urtree Great Shield. Are you are you a turtle poker? Do I gotta use the claws on you? Almost one shot him. Another guy with no health. Ah, he used uh, the bolt of Grand. Or is, is that the bolt of Grand Siax? All right. Oh, that didn't hit him. What? There we go. Got him. Is that is that the bolt of Grancy axe that he was using there? Juicy Poots. I like the name Juicy Poots. cutting out for you yeah it's been it's been sketchy this whole night man it's it's so frustrating my internet has been not all that reliable bonzo i fought him already that's the placidusax sword Elder Ring damage is free and sand across the board. It can't really survive with less than 60 bigger. It, absolutely, yeah. People that that rolling around doing fights with like 35, 40 bigger. Have to make some more exalted flesh here. What you got for me, buddy? Got rid of your bubble. Oh, hi there. Madness, huh? And 
and Malakath. Got him. All right, I'm on a, you know, decent winning streak here. Now I want to rest. There we go. Might do another duel or two, do a couple invasions, call it a day. Sad thing with invasions, though, is that... You're all again. Sad thing with uh, invasions is that um, there's so many AFK people. Whatever you do, don't summon an Albaneric and use the Wave of Gold. Why is that? Because that's what the farmers use. <laughs> that's true. That is true. Dad gum. All right. How did that not do damage? All right, I'm about to get skunked here. Okay. Turn to their world. All right, whatever. You almost killed me. Any idea why that person returned to their world instead of finishing me off? Yeah, that that fight was really laggy. It was that was pretty bad. Got a buckler. <laughs> Internet connection had an issue, that's all I can think of.
Alright, I'll do some invasions. I'm trying to think of a good I'm trying to think of a, a, a good spot to invade. I don't have access to the Halig tree, unfortunately. Cause that would that would be a, a fun spot to invade, but um I could hop to a different profile, but then I'd have to like reset all my stuff. I could invade at uh this spot. Mog area. I don't have that spot unlocked either. Um, I could get there. I do. I do. Actually, I do have the item that teleports you there, as long as it's still in my inventory. No, it's not. Dang it. Yeah, they take that away. I'd have to do. I. I. It's, it's probably too late to do Varl's side quest. Yeah, because I've already done all. I've already beat the game basically, so I, I don't think I can do Varl's side quest. And um, I don't have the the thing to uh, transport me there, and I don't. I'm not in the um, what you call it. Oh, I am getting an invasion sweep. I'm not, I'm not, um, I can't, uh, what am I trying to say? I can't, I can't get to the, I can't get to the Howling Tree. I can't get to Mog's area. Because I'll need access to the Consecrated Snowfield. Alright, you asked for it. Whoops, I forgot to, uh... Ah, oh, dadgummit, I forgot to... I wanted to heal there. Oh well. I was unprepared. Alright, good night, man. I'll try that again. Oh, I lost all my runes from that. Oh, I got to get those back. Uh, cancel. I didn't know that you lost your runes as an invader. I thought you just lost them if you were the host. Do we like the PvP clips? Good deal, man. Yeah, I, I, I plan on doing some PvP before I uh, start playing something else. All right, dude. Have a good night, man. Let's see what we got here. Defeat John Boy.
that went poorly. Did not mean to fall down. I need to throw on my blue flask, which I don't have. Oh, I don't have any uses of it. That sucks. Okay, I'll use a starlight shard then. He got me with it. <laughs> well done. I deserve that. I ain't even mad. For some reason I thought that the wave of gold would be harder for the uh, host to dodge. To get one win here. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's see. Probably should change my flask allocation. So I can have at least one blue flask available.
not working and taking a while. Give me another minute, then I'll try somewhere else. Fair Missoula could be a fun place to invade. Try that. There we go. That was quick. See, it's starting me up top. I hear it. Where is he? Up oh, there he is. Oh, he did all the work for me. They're, those are his helpers. Where's the host? There's the host. Oh. Oh. oh, man. His buddy got me. Great sword. I'm just gonna run and get my runes real quick. It, right, yeah. Why is it always dark? There we go. Let's see, this is the, this is by the elevator. Seems like they're kind of glitchy. There's probably a little bit of lag. 
Dad gun it. Nice job. 3v1. I need some blue flasks. If this is going to be the way that I'm going to play using Wave of Gold. I need blue flasks. Because the way that they split it out when you invade, it cuts it in half, so. to redo my allocation here so I can have at least one blue flask. Do it like that. That should work. Yeah, 3v1, I'm not going to have very good odds, but it's still fun. Alright, Team Mac, have a good night, dude. Thanks so much for hanging out. Oh, I gotta get my runes back. I'll try it from, uh, from here. Let's see. See if I can get one more. I want to actually win an invasion tonight. I guess can you not invade here because it's a boss room? She would tell you why you can't use it. Probably because it is a boss room. Oh, nice. All right, I'm 
right by the lift. Okay. Lebeau, he's already in trouble, it looks like. He's up there. He's a bubble guy. Rot Bro took me out. Or no, he's... I gotta get those souls back. Uh, where is that spot? Um, yeah, I got a ways to go to get there, I think. I don't want this blue thing on right now. Oops. Didn't want that or that. Oh, geez. I'm about to lose four million souls. over here. There it is. Make this jump. That's funny. Did you just miss the jump? Yep. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Well, looks like invasions are uh, a bit tough to come by at this hour.
If I feel like after I warp to a spot and lay my sign down, I get one immediately. But then if I try to do another a, a second one in a row, it takes a long time. All right, is the boss still alive? All right, have not fought Malika. Another up there. Oh, they fought. They began fighting the boss. Spawn me like right next to the freaking. Oh, you've got the uh, waterfowl, huh? That's fancy. Oh, and rivers of blood, huh? Okay. Trying to get a 1v1 counter here. Receive the fall down the elevator. No. Arg. Yeah, it is hard to get, get things going on a 3v1, but. Them's the rules. And invasion seems to be happening pretty quick at this spot, so. I might camp out here till I get a victory. Uh. I guess that's a problem with this spot is that they might be fighting the boss already or like they might be entering the boss fog like right as I get to their world there's one of them up here Acid Dusax is ruined. Alright. Yeah, avoiding all the boss moves and spells from three different players is not likely. That is correct.
But the satisfaction of actually winning one will be so grand. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> that was horrible. Oh, that sucked. I will have a successful invasion. You can't fix that, though. There's a couple times where I've gotten them close, like I've gotten them to a dangerously low portion of their HP bar, and then like one of their buddies comes up and hits me. All right. They went inside. They went inside to the boss. Pretty sure they're fighting the boss. Yeah. Wait, what? What's happening? I feel like it's not supposed to do this. They're fight they're clearly fighting the boss right now. So I shouldn't be able to be invading right now. <laughs> Hiditaka Miyazaki, host of fingers. So right now I'm just hoping that they die. Yeah. Hiditaka Miyazaki can't beat Malakath. All right. I feel like that happens more often than not. They're already fighting the boss. For whatever reason, that last time it didn't kick me out. Oh, wow. This is out of the way. If that happens one more time, I'm going to have to... Uh, 
made somewhere else. All right, I think uh, not much activity there. Oh, there we go. Did they get in? Oh, I feel so bad about this. I feel so bad. Ow. I feel horrible about that. They were buffing up, about to go into the boss room. <laughs> I feel terrible. Oh my gosh. I feel really bad. I, I rushed in to kill them and they were buffing up for the boss. <laughs> okay, I can't do that anymore. I'm going to go here. To good old Liernia. The problem with Liernia is there's a lot of AFK farmers. I actually legitimately feel bad about that. Somebody on the other side of the world hates me right now. And for very good reason. I just like ruined someone's night. I was just tired of people going into the boss room and then and then and not not getting to to play and then as um I was just eager to fight and then um I kind of was a bit overzealous there. A little bit of lag. Yeah, 
dude, what on the, what? Did you see that? What was hitting me just then? He was like 15 feet away from me, stabbing to the side, and it was hitting me. I mean, I could do a better job of, like, using the environment to my advantage. Since enemies will attack them, but not me. Here we go. All right. Bloodborne. I like this guy. Ah, Moon Veil. Okay. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do your little Moon Veil thing again. Do it. got me. And that was a straight 1v1. Despite him being a Moonvale guy. Let's see where my runes... I need to get the... Side of Grace over here. Freaking love. 
monsters. Where is the side of grace? Over here. It's it is like right around here, I think. In this vicinity. I think it is. Um, let's see. Lyernia, Site of Grace is. I thought there was one right there. It's like right over here somewhere. Let's travel along this pathway until I find it. I think that's where the map fragment is. Say I was invading? Oh, no. There we go. I, I have a feeling this might be an AFK. Nope. I have a feeling this might be. Yeah, that, yeah. Those are regular enemies. I have a feeling this might be an AFK guy. fight against this hunter. Let's see, how would I get up there? I have a feeling this is an AFK farmer, though.
I wish there was like a system where if you haven't moved in so much time, they automatically kick you out of your PvP session. Would effectively get rid of the the AFK farmers. Uh, how do you? Maybe you, I thought there was a way. get up there from down here, but maybe not. See if I can track him down. I'm pretty sure he's AFK, though. I think these other invaders know what's going on. Let's see, so I'm up here now. He's probably hiding up on one of these structures that you can only get to. The torrent. on this bridge. Gotta be on the bridge somewhere. a way I could snipe him. Definitely AFK though. Uh, uh, can't see anybody though. I'm gonna see if I can get an angle on him somehow. Can I go through here? No. Will this show if they were legitimately on the other side of this though?
There's like a random ledge they could be on. Maybe they're like on top of that or something. Might be on top of the gate. That's my theories, they're on top of the gate. Somehow, got up out of reach. Or, no, if they're on top of the gate, the thing would, yep, just, it just disappeared. To try something. Uh, oh, you need extra. I could two hand this, right? for this. Try explosive great bolts. It's probably on top somehow. I think I have, I probably don't have the range. But if I aim it right, if it could get on top. Yeah, I think that's out of range. Sadly. Hmm. I want to believe that there's a way to do this. just gonna die but and I don't think I can unlock the side of grace while I'm a phantom sadly well just so I don't lose my runes I'm gonna throw this on There's nothing I can do from here. I can't even jump back. 
be wary of Cliff. Thanks for that. Yep. All right. AFK Farmer wins that round. Ah, uh, he's a... That was a 2v1 in the other direction. Turns out it is much easier to win when you outnumber your opponent. We got a Bloodhound Stepper here. We got a Bloodhound Stepper. And a Moon Veiler. Wow. A Bloodhound Step with Moon Veil. Do it again. Alright, these are these are a bit more fun than the ones in Fair Missoula where you know it's always a three V one and everybody has boss weapons. Again, the problem you run into in this in this area is AFK farmers. They might be up on top of this thing, which I don't think you can get to without torrent. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, 
bold strategy. Gotcha. Ha! I'm glad that worked. I didn't think I could get up here without Torrid. Hey, I'll take it though. Okay, they're not on top of that. I've, I've had it where they're on top of that before. Is this just a dude waiting for invaders? Is this is this a an honorable? I'll take it. What have we here? What are you using? Is that? That's not Moonvale. Got a Bloodhound Stepper, though. And another guy with no HP. he's doing there. like a madness thing. He does do a pretty insane amount of damage, though. He is gobbling his flasks, which I ain't mad about. Alright, enough of this. Ah, uh, that's right, he's got Bloodhound Step. As long as he ch uh, just got to get him to chug all of his flasks and that was a bad move. Up, oh, use another one. I don't know what that is. I need to do a better job of punishing it.
heal up again. There you go. There you go. Chug all those flasks. Speaking of which, I'm on my last flask, so. There we go, got him, finally. What do I play on? Uh, what's up, Dwayne? I'm on PS5. Yeah, despite the fact that, that AFK farmers are a problem in this area, my best invasions tend to happen around here. I had some good duels earlier outside of the academy as well. Cup Noodle. Oh. Cup Noodle was uh, the helper. Uh, is this an AFK guy? I bet you it. Yep, he's probably on top of this thing. No? Okay, good. Alright, what do we got here? <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll duel you. Where are you at, Dwayne? I'll, uh... I'll come find you. Uh, looks like he's already got an invader. Earn. Yeah, that's that's a recusant. Ah, uh, Moonveil spammer. I kind of want to kill this invader for. Which grace? I want to kill this invader. I got no respect for the moon veil. Come on.
Dang it. Ah, GG. Academy Town. Alright, I'm gonna have to, uh... It's funny, I, I killed that guy's invader wanting to fight him, and then this other other one came out for me. Oh, well. <clears throat> What's your username? All right, I got to get my uh, runes back, actually. I'm going to do that real quick. And then I'll, I'll uh, look for you. All right. Let's see here. Is this where you're at? The host there was uh, was at least honorable. Let me one v one his helper. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I I helped him take out his invader because I I was just mad his invader was was spamming Moonvale. So I was like, I'd rather I I would have rather have fought that invader one v one, but or the, the rather I would have fought the host one v one. Noob duelist. I'm not seeing a sign around here, but um, I mean honestly, I don't. I'm not quite certain how the um, matchmaking works. Like, what level are you? I am 159? But I'm not seeing your sign out here. It might it might be, there's there might be a too big of a discrepancy between our levels or something. I used my, uh, yeah, I already, I already used it, so I should be seeing signs out here if there was one. What level are you, Dwayne? I did use the remedy, yep. See? Finger remedy effect will be nullified if I use it. Not seeing you, man. My only guess is that there might be too wide of a range between our levels. I ain't seeing you. You're at this one, Academy Gate Town. Okay, you're level 255. That's probably why. Because I, I, I think you can only 
pair with people who are plus or minus 20 of your level. I'm only level 159. So if you are if you're 255, I don't think the game will let us play. I think that's the problem. I'm, I'm not quite sure what exactly the range is, but I'm pretty sure it's plus or minus 20. Okay. Okay. of blood. Do it again. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, I'll try it out again. I'll try using a uh, finger remedy. Still not seeing you. Yeah, I don't see any red signs around here. How high have you, have you, have, was that co-op though, or was that dueling?
Almost one shot. Yeah, you better run away. Uh, got a great shield. We got a great shield. Do it. Up. Oh, he's got... Okay, we'll see if the Great Shield's a problem. He's... Yep, the Great Shield was a problem. Or do, do you have a password on? If you have a password on, let me know what it is. Ah, my runes are all the way out there, dang it. One one six six, okay. That could be why. You're sure this is where you are, Academy Gate Town? Boil Prawn Shack, okay. Aha, I think this is you. There you go. Okay, yeah, that's what it was, the password. Strike first blood here, okay. Up, oh, madness, all right. Got a lot of tricks up your sleeve here. Oh, that still hit me?
Oh, wow. Good fight, dude. Whew. That was a good fight, man. You are definitely not a noob by any stretch. You have a lot of tricks up your sleeve. Whew. That was intense, man. All right. Well, I'm glad uh, we got to actually work that out. It was the uh, the password that was the issue. So, oh, uh, let's see. Well, suffice to say, it is almost 3 a.m. where I'm at, and I have work tomorrow. So I should probably. Uh, uh, I'll do. I'll do. Um, I'll do one more duel over here at the academy gate and then I'll call it a night. I got to go to bed. Um, let's see here. Oh, it's because I got the password on. Uh, there's no but there's no signs out here there we go that was fun dude I mean, you have a ton of stuff in your arsenal. Like, that is impressive what you have access to at a moment's notice. When when uh, when you switch to um, what's it called? Um, the, yeah, this, when you switch to your sacred relic sword and you started using wave of gold on that last one, I thought I thought that was it. All right, Mr. Guts. Oh, wow. Got the roll poke. How did that not hit you? There we go. That should have been a kill right there. got too greedy. It's basically sudden death. Oh, got him. Oh. Oh. That that was tense.
Oh, man. All right, bravo. Best deal you've had, considering everyone spams L2, especially with Rivers of Blood and Moonvale. Yeah. Yeah, I know that's a problem. And that's something that I have resolved not to be that kind of player for PvP. But yes, that was a good duel for sure, man. All right, well, it is, it's 2.51 where I'm at, so I gotta, I gotta go. But Dwayne, thanks for coming and hanging out, dude. And uh, Darth, if you're still around, thanks for, uh, for hanging out tonight. Anyone else still there? Thank you all so much. Really appreciate all of y'all. And uh, everybody have a good day, good night, wherever it is. Whatever it is, wherever you're all at. So I'll catch you all next time. Take care, everybody.